everyone. So when I jump in with a frame like this, you know what day it is, and that is one where we are talking about a new release or review of some sort. Today, that is going to be a focus on the T. Henry Longtail, one of the long-awaited new titaniums, the first McLaren-inspired piece, and an incredible one at that. So let's dive into it and have some fun, shall we? All right, for starters, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below so you stick around, ring the bell, and see some of the coolest frames you'll ever get to lay your eyes on, as well as tips and tricks of how to take care of them and keep them in shape. But today, what we wanna focus on is the brand new long tail. I'm wearing it here in the Casino Royale colorway, which is quite fitting for this guy. Not an Aston piece, but, um, you know, we'll take a Bond inspiration anywhere we can get it. 18 karat yellow gold with incredible black enamel detailing. And that is key to this colorway and some of the others you have mixed metals. It's always, always beautiful detailing. I really love the flowing lines of this one in particular. The Berlinette's a little bit edgier, a little bit harsher. The drop head's a little bit softer. This one kind of brings all that together. And then you've got the Scud, Scud, the other one which is extremely squared and edgy. And this one sits right in the middle of the other three new shapes with a little bit of edginess, a little bit of softness, but it's still that light, wide, low song, really slick look overall. So with the brow bar on this one, you do have a little bit more of an air gap than we see on the Berlinette, which has just a very tiny sliver of a gap there at the top. The bridge is a little bit more narrow on this one right through here, so you get some differentiation between them, but you still have your airflow holes there for the aerodynamic bits of the piece. And of course, this guy, the aerofoil, intended to keep everything planted and in place at speed, and uh, yeah, looks cool as hell too, so that's always worth something. But I just really love the flow of this one. It's a cool frame that sits in between the entire collection, but it's also one that can easily be worn in a lot of situations. Of course, it's very flashy in the Casino Royale colorway because you have these nice soft rose lenses which give you just enough darkness without being too, too dark. You still see the eyes behind them easily worn indoors, but still plenty of protection outside and a lot of contrast. Nice AR coating on these as well. You get that little soft gold reflectance, which I am always a fan of inside and out. Always a fan of a gold AR, particularly on a set of sunglasses like this really amps things up to that next level and shows that every single detail was thought about from the aerofoil, the vents, the flow of the bridge, all the way down to the tips that will never come in focus on here, but you have your little star lug nuts in the back as always becoming a T. Henry signature, which we love to see. As far as an overall look and feel, the vibe of these is something we haven't seen in this industry ever because we've got four millimeter thick titanium, incredibly deep and rich, lustrous metallic finishes. The gold plating on these over the titanium, it's already titanium, it's not low grade to begin with. Uh, so you've got a high grade titanium and then about a 1.2 to 1.4 micron thick gold plating on these, which is absolutely bonkers. You don't see plating done that thick, but that is why the richness of these is so darn high. Super lightweight on the face because, again, the entire frame is titanium. A little bit more heft up on the front from the cast pieces, but it is still really nicely balanced for a good fit and feel. With, I'm going to say this is going to be more your medium to smaller heads. It can fit a little bit wider. Mine's fairly average. I wear a large to a medium and a helmet, depending on the shape of it. So a little bit of a guideline for you there. Overall sizing, if you're into that kind of thing, this is a 54i size, 16.8 bridge. As I mentioned, the bridge is a little bit more narrow on this one than some of the others. You got about 17 here, 54 across the lens, and then you've got these nice, I'm gonna call it about six millimeter horn here. So your overall fit, 108 and 17, and that's a lot of math, that's 125. So yeah, you're right in that 136 millimeter front edge to edge actual fit on the face width of it. Really good stuff. 
The cool thing with these in the Casino Royale colorway, there were only 80 produced. This is number seven of the long tails in Casino Royale. I always love getting into those single digit serial numbers, but come on, it is lucky seven in the Casino Royale colorway. Uh, it, mm. Will this one go on the website? I don't know. It might go straight into the vault. We will have to decide that at a later time. That's all I'm gonna go over on this one today. I'm gonna leave you with that to simmer on of all the things I could leave you with. It's number freaking seven. Mm. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the long tail, tail the whole release and particularly this Casino Royale colorway. Ah. Oh. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm gonna go off this away, sorry. <laughs>